Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we would be discussing about web element in Selenium. Web element is another important interface in Selenium, same like web driver, which we use to interact with single elements. So it has two super classes which it implements. One is search context and take screenshot. So the take screenshot element is the way to get the screenshots for the elements and search context is the way to find elements and it's basically covering all the user operations which you can perform on an element so let us discuss the methods in it it has a method called clear which can be used to clear the text uh, area content it has a click method if you want to click on some elements get attributes to find the title or css any values inside it the dedicated value uh, method to get the css values you can get the location get the size and get rect these three methods are somewhat similar let us discuss them in little detail so basically whenever you find an element it will have uh, these four parameters let us say get location which will give you the xy coordinate from the left corner and get size which will give you width and height and there is get rect which will give you all the four coordinates for example let's see the rect returns a rectangle which has as you see height width x and y so based on your needs you can use any of these methods then there are other methods like get tag name if you want to know whether it's a div if it is a span you can use this to get the whole text inside the web element to check whether it is displayed, whether it is enabled, or is it selected. Selected will be coming when it's a drop down. And you have a send key which you use to perform operation like send value into the input box. And there is a submit method where when you want to submit a form. Let us discuss some tips which can help you in some cases. Like e selected actually checks whether there's an attribute called checked is equal to true is displayed also checks whether display none if it is saying it is displayed none it will return you false on all other cases it will return true get text won't return you hidden text so this is little important you may be needed to use some other get attribute methods uh, to get the value actually based on your scenario when get text does not work you can use all this like inner html value or title you can even use send key to enter like you have given username and password then you can send key enter to submit also if sometimes clear does not work you can send backspaces to clear the content so whenever we discuss about web elements there is a stale element reference exception which gets thrown it is very rare but whenever you get it it is really difficult to understand so what happens is after you have found an element using find element methods we have discussed about them previously there are six ways to find element so after you have found them when you try to do an operation like click or submit again it goes and checks in the dom whether that element is present in that time if that element has been modified you will be getting stale element reference exception let us check the selenium website itself to understand little bit better so what happens is these scripting languages like javascript and its libraries like jquery they have the option to modify the dom at runtime so in between the time you found the element using find element and the time you perform the operation like send key it would have changed the element in those scenarios you will be ending up getting stale element exception so these are the two times one is the element has been entirely deleted or no longer attached to the DOM. So this is happening because we are using some JavaScript libraries. And the main fix would be to wait until the JavaScript library has completed uh, changing or modifying the element before using these operations. So once you have found the element and it changes it in between, you will surely be getting the stale element exception. So before you find the element itself, you should have some weight to check that the stale element or the jQuery operation is completed. Let us conclude our learning. So we have seen like web element can be used to interact with individual elements in the web page. So first you have to use the find element to find those elements. Then you can use the 
methods described here to interact with them it is mostly used to uh, show user operations like whatever you perform on the website some user operations are not covered as you can guess till now like mouse operations and selecting the drop down so these are separate classes which we will be discussing hope you guys got an idea thank you